Okay, hello and welcome back to our Rome Remastered campaign, that's the Greek cities. In this part we're going to be attempting to deal with the Roman menace in Sicily. We are not looking too healthy over there, I think there's a good chance we lose Masana. It all kind of depends, if this backup force decides to attack it, then I think it goes down pretty much straight away. Um, but if they decide to, for some reason, not involve that force, and try and starve Masana out instead, we might potentially have four turns just to try to bring some backup over. Not sure we can make it work because this is actually going to take a little bit longer than I thought, at least three turns, so we might arrive just too late. But we need to try, and worst case scenario, we lose Masana, we lose our faction air, um, and we lose all of these militia hoplites and things, which is not a big deal. But we shouldn't lose Syracuse, Syracuse should be completely safe, and once the faction leader arrives, we should then be able to make a really strong push towards Italy itself. And of course take over what's left of Sicily, so hopefully that will all be fine, but it's very much the, the naval side of things I'm most worried about, so I'm going to do something I don't like to do, but I think I have to. I'm going to cancel the hoplites, and I'm going to pick up another Byream. And then that leaves us with only 600 left, which screws up the next part of my plan, I didn't actually calculate it. So I also want to buy a Byream in Thamon, um, so I need to go and get myself a little bit more money. I'm going to hope... Damn. I think I might have jumped forward a little bit too quickly. I I maybe could have got to this diplomat. I didn't see him until it was too late. Yeah, I need to get myself a little bit more money. So it's up to this guy now. Find us a new faction. There we go. Seleucid Empire. Let's go. So they don't actually want an alliance. Uh, trade rights they think is balanced. Let's ask for... We only actually need a hundred, and because I don't want to risk annoying them, I need to be a bit careful. I do need this. A most generous proposal. Fine, perfect. So we can afford that second ship. Uh, let's also offer them map information, and let's see if they'll pay us. I mean, they paid us quite a lot for that. Let's go with thirteen hundred. A most generous. They go for that too. Okay, so we've actually got quite a lot of money now. Awesome, okay, so we can go back to Thamon. We can recruit a Byream. And that leaves us with 1500, which we can then spend on... I think I might get a barracks here because... I've just realized that this, this town is useless. Uh, Thamon is also pretty useless in terms of recruiting a normal army. Uh, we have this 16, 17 year old guy. who's currently approaching Apollonia. He won't be able to, um, to wield a ram, of course, but... If he does besiege it, it's one unit of peasants against a unit of general's bodyguards. So if we could get ourselves um, a few units of uh, militia hoplites, that might actually get the job done. I'm going to send this spy up to Thessalonica. So we're now inside that, we can have a look. So it's two units of phalanx pikemen, one unit of general's bodyguard, a very strong one because it's the faction leader. That's actually going to be quite difficult. I'll actually just try stepping this guy out. Let's see if there's any new mercenaries available. Nope. Okay, so we do have five command stars. We can reach it this turn. So, all of these units, these five units, can't travel any further this turn, but the rest of the units can travel most of the way to Thessalonica. Uh, I could besiege it with a general on his own, of course, that's not really going to work out, so... I do want to make a move for it straight away. I'm not sure these forces are quite good enough. I really want to go for it, but yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure this is enough. Rebel force should be completely fine to deal with. I'm going to go for it. I think playing aggressively has worked out so far, so we've gone for those. Uh, we're going to move towards these, just drive them away. Uh, Larissa is already recruiting. We're going to take the rest of these forces. We're going to get them ready to go and rescue Apollonia if we need to. Pick up the barracks here, and then we've got 900 left. Let's go to Pergamum. And let's pick up another hoplite. And we've got 500 left, which is enough to buy a shrine or something like that, or... I might just go with a merchant. Because it turns out we're only allowed to recruit one of those in each town, I think. And we do have our free merchant here, which we can send over to... These? Olive oil? That's going to be 11 income per turn. Uh, there is a rebel 
merchant nearby, but he's got no skill, so I don't think he's a threat. There's also some gold up here, which is 15 instead. I might move towards that, but for this turn at least, it does make sense just to stay on the olive oil. And as far as I can tell, that's pretty much it for this turn. We do have another diplomat, but he can't really do too much from here. I wonder if these guys would take a ceasefire. I don't necessarily want one, but they might pay me. Nope. Okay, that's completely fine. Alright, so that is... Everyone moved, as far as I can tell, so I think we're good... Just to end the turn there, there's also Byzantium. Should recruit at least one thing here, so let's just go with some peasants so that they're going to be a little bit happier when we actually step out of the town. Uh, we could probably do that somewhere else as well. So this place is not currently recruiting peasants. We could probably actually step out with our two militia hoplites if we just recruit some of those. So let's send the militia hoplites up towards Larissa. And that's probably fine. The only other thing I'm considering is just moving this up slightly further. But... I think one ship on its own has literally nigh on 0% chance of success. We're not going to get across to Sicily without being attacked. Uh, so probably just better off staying in Sparta for now. Okay, let's end the turn. So Macedon is actually bringing some more forces over, and as expected, this guy does decide to attack Apollonia. Okay, so Thessalonica has picked up some more units. I'm not completely confident this is going to work. I might need to back off and pick up a few more units. Uh, so, a big rebel navy has attacked our strongest navy, and I'm guessing this is not going to work out. Okay, so we've been driven away. I don't know why the game lightens up like that. It always looks kind of horrible for a couple of seconds. Okay, so... We can now send this navy across still. It's probably not going to work out too much. But we got two ships here. We probably can't travel too far once this guy jumps on. Okay, they can still go pretty far. So let's take all of these units. Let's jump them on. And then we can go up to here. We can join these guys up. And this force, I think, is big enough. So the only question is... We've got a Julii fleet here, Scipii fleet here, and there was a Brutii fleet pretty nearby. If they all join together, that could be a problem, but I think we'll mostly be fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and recruit some more hoplites here, and yeah, it looks like they're not going to actually assault Masana, so Masana should be safe for at least two or three more turns. Uh, if we return to this guy, no real need to take on the rebels. Alright, so they're approaching us with... Okay, so Macedonian Cavalry, that's second tier. And we definitely don't have the right types of units for that, so... Unfortunately, we probably do need to back off, and... There is the question of... Whether we just drop off some units from these ships. It depends, so Masana's gonna hold out for three more turns, it's gonna take us... Two more turns to get across. Yeah, I do think we can take a detour. I want to send these up, but I, I do want to keep the pressure on Thessalonica, so perhaps we do just join these up. We'll go for that next turn, we should be strong enough. We check the mercs, no new mercenaries available. Uh, in this town, we're going to keep recruiting hoplites, in this town we're going to recruit some peasants, although uh, Thermon needs to grow, so let's recruit them in Athens instead. These guys can join up to these. Not sure if that's the best place for them, or if we should just start moving them towards Apollonia instead. Probably Apollonia. So let's go towards that. Uh, I forgot to actually adjust my tax rates as well, that's another thing I need to do. So let's jump through our towns. This town can go up to normal tax rate. This never works. The arrow buttons never work for some reason. I wish they would just divorce the... Um, Divorce the actual characters from the towns when you're scrolling through, because I, I don't know a better way to actually go through and adjust your tax rates. It's one of the things that's slightly annoying about this remaster. Just going to have to go through them one by one. So this one is very high. This one is high tax rate. This can definitely afford to go up to very high. Let's do that. Sparta is on high. That can go to very high. Corinth is very high. Okay. I think Syracuse can also go up. Yep, that's pretty safe. 
And then let's check our notifications. So faction announcements, a couple of new family members. Uh, there's a war between Spain and Gaul and Gaul and Britannia. As far as I'm aware, I don't think the Romans ever actually went to war with Gaul. I could probably check that, but it doesn't really affect us too much. So Apollonia besieged, Masana besieged, we already know about that. End of turn report, we're actually making a really good amount of money now, and we've not actually started properly investing. Um, what is this guy doing? He's right in our way. There's no great way to do this, but I think this just about works. Okay, so we should take this pretty soon. It's going to fall down next turn. They're going to come out and attack us. Yeah, those units aren't too tough. That should be fine. So something else I can do is I can send these units out of Byzantium, send them to the west. Uh, the reason I'm reluctant to do that is because we've got Thrace just to our north, and Thrace is almost certainly going to attempt to attack us if we do that. That's for the Scythian Diplomat. Can't see him right now. Let's keep looking. Go slightly to the north. If nothing else, we'll find Dacia up here, so still worth going. There we go, so we got Thrace, we've got Dacia. Make some money off them next turn. We're going to bring this fleet up to Sparta and retrain it. This could go wrong because I could just keep this going, but it's pretty weak. It's effectively one unit, so I think it makes sense just to retrain it. We'll train up some hoplites. And these guys will arrive one turn after the rest of our navy. Which means if our other navy gets defeated, we should at least be able to... I hope we should at least be able to save it before it's too late. Um, because if our faction leader sinks, that's a real problem. Uh, but these guys will be coming up. The problem is, they will arrive too late to actually save Masana. So we don't want to join them together just yet. And then we're going to take this fleet, we're going to join them up to that fleet as well. I can't actually join these two together, I think I just have to go... like this. And then put it back on, and then we probably have to do the UI thing again. Yep, don't know why, but there you go. And then one thing I very much do like about the UI is you can immediately see which of your towns are currently busy and which aren't. So we can see, for example, in Athens that it's time to pick up another building. And none of this stuff is going to help us too much. I think Mines probably is a good call, so let's go for that. Uh, Byzantium needs a port. Larissa. Larissa should be fine. I know the public order is bad, but once we pick up some more units, it should be okay. Uh, I think... None of this stuff is too necessary. Port, again, I think is going to help us a lot. We do need, of course, to keep our units coming in, so let's focus on towns that can really help with that. So Larissa is already recruiting, Athens, Sparta, and the other one, of course, is Syracuse. That's also busy. So I think that's pretty much all the main towns currently producing units, with the exception of Pergamum. And then we still have 1,500 left. That means we can then invest in something in Thamon. So Thamon and Apollonia, I think, just need to be a little bit better in terms of what units they can produce. I think we'll go for stables in Apollonia. It's not going to be too relevant otherwise. That's pretty much all of our money spent, but we do have just enough to pick up another unit of peasants, and we're going to send them north to keep order in Larissa. I think that's about it for this turn. Okay, so they have joined up and they have decided to assault us. We're obviously not going to survive this, we just have to do as much damage as possible, so... Our faction heir is going to be killed, unfortunately, but we do have our faction leader on the way, and... Since they're determined to take this town, I guess we could actually send him to Italy instead. That could work. But yeah, we're just going to have to see what we can do here, and hope that Syracuse can finish them off. Okay, so this is our entire force, and as usual, I'm hoping that just the... the lack of morale problems in the town square is going to make these militia hoplites actually feel kind of useful this time. They're not a great type of unit, of course, but their main problem is just that lack of morale. So we've got a good, strong phalanx across the front. Uh, we've got a backup phalanx here because I'm pretty confident they will invade from both sides at once. And then we've got our general just to help patch up any holes. But yeah, this is this is massively not in our favour. We've got three generals bodyguards. One unit of generals bodyguard alone can probably push straight through a unit of militia hoplites. Even going straight through their spears, they would be completely fine. So there's no way we can win this, but let's just see how it goes. Alright, so first up we have a unit of equites. That shouldn't be too bad. Straight into our spears, hopefully. Taking a few down with our arches. There we go, yep, straight into our spears, but you can see that even doing that, we don't actually manage to kill them. So, these are just equites. These are super basic Roman units. 
I was hoping they'd do a bit more than that. That does not fill me with confidence. These are not hoplites. We have to remember in the previous fight with um, with Carthage, it was actual hoplites. This time it's just militia hoplites, which are really a big step down. But we do manage to route that first unit, and the best we can hope for here is just a big mass route, because for now, all three Roman generals are staying back. So that's about as good as we can hope for. Not really sure I can change things too much outside of that. I'm not sure where my archers have gone. They shouldn't have done that. Let's move them back. I've given them an order. There we go. Alright, that'll have to do. So next up we've got another unit of Equites. They really want to move for some reason. I'm going to tell them to stop there. Okay, so here we go. Next unit is coming in. We might need to actually bolster this a bit. This is not a particularly strong force. I assume they can't come through this. I mean, there's there's no actual logical reason why they can't, but I think that tree is going to work as a barrier, I hope. Yeah, they are really going full on on this side for now. Uh, let's actually turn to Flaming Ammo, and let's send our general in just to spook them a bit. Okay, so General should perform fairly well against the Equites. We have routed the first unit. We can see the unit of Velites coming up there. Just going to double check we can't go through. Yep, we can't. Okay. Alright, so don't really want to lose the General here. He does have a few Command Stars, so we want to try and keep him alive. Okay, we've got our Flaming Ammo on. Going to use these guys to fill the gap. And let's try and scare them again. Okay, so that's another unit routed. They've got a few units of Hastati coming up. That's not going to be good for us. So the Hastati and their Peeler are going to do a lot of damage to us. I'm going to damage them as much as I can before they get their first volley off. Uh, let's return our general to safety as our second phalanx is forming up. Okay, so we patched up the hole. We can see the war dogs have come in against our militia hoplites on the side here. They'll probably win, I think. I don't think our hoplites will survive this. I could send in the general. So when it comes to war dogs, I'm not actually sure if the best types of units for those are infantry or cav. It might be that war dogs do well against cav. I'm not really sure what kind of logic the devs were using there. For now, we're actually holding them off, so that's okay. Um, these guys have not formed up in a great way. Let's actually tell them to get back into position if that works. I think that kind of works. Okay. So they're approaching us with their Hestati. They're kind of actually flanking us. I might try moving back like this. And let's send these guys in. So the actual war dog men have broken. Is that... The, I think that's the general. It's the general. The general's gone in... Oh no. That's not how we want to do it. Is that him? No. Okay, General got back to safety. Alright, but we're struggling to actually route them. Uh, these guys have formed up. I think where they're currently stood, they they could actually lose morale. But yeah, we're just going to have to see how this goes. It's probably going to be a bit of a grind. No, he was still actually in amongst them and for some reason never came back. I have no words for that. That's um, That's really stupid. But there you go. Alright, so there's a big, big mass of Velites and other things there. Just gonna have to try and hit them with as much as possible. They're a really good target for our archers, but we are firing straight into their shields. First Roman general is threatening to come through. Unfortunately, it's not a family member, so we can't hope for a nice, nice easy kill on one of those. Of course, it is just the family members themselves we have to kill. We don't have to worry about the rest. The bodyguards are all completely fine. Okay, so for now, they're still struggling to push through. I'm going to send my general in, or what's left of his bodyguards. So the Hastati are exhausted. Velites is shaken. I have to try and kick off a bit of a route. So we've got a couple of units there. Grim General still coming in. 
A little bit of a chain route going. Needs to be more than this. So I think even if this works out, the odds that we actually route their general are pretty low. So yep, they've uh, they've still mostly got their courage. Okay, this is pretty much over. I'm just going to speed this up. Okay, Roman General coming in. Yep, as expected, easily able to go straight through our spears. And all that's left now, some skirmishes, let's just run them in. That the God should witness such a day, such a defeat! Shame is our only reward! Okay, so we took slightly more losses than they did, but we lost Militia Hoplites, whereas they lost mostly Equites, few Astarte. I think overall that kind of worked out, but not necessarily filled with confidence that sending in just our hoplites from Syracuse is going to be enough. So we'll have to have a think about that. On the upside, while we have lost Masana, we should be able to take Nicomedia to take its place. Okay, so my fear here is if they come to chase us down, because I'm pretty sure we lose this, they have a command star and the difficulty and all that, yeah, we do lose it. I need them to not be able to chase me down, so the rebels could come for me too. That's another risk. Okay, so these rebels are going... Yeah, I think this is our remaining forces, so... We lose one ship. Wow, we have been knocked way off course there. I think... I think that was the right fleet, so... If that's our faction leader, we have literally just ended up... Completely the opposite of where we're going. I could make that work, because I can now go and take Halicarnassus instead, but... That's very unfortunate. Alright, so let's drop our rams, and let's just pull back. Let's reassess exactly what they have. So, the main unit is just Militia Hoplites. Backup unit is Peltast. And third unit, Ration Mercs. Okay, so the Peltasts are going to come out first, so same as the previous fight where we did this. It's a perfect opportunity to catch them out, let's just go for it. If we can take these out, then we can send in our own Slingers. So we have moved our general slightly too far away, but we're able to do lots of damage to them there. Cool, okay. So next up, let's send in our slingers. Uh, let's line these guys up. So yeah, these are the Thracian mercs, they can chase us down. But we are a lot faster, and if we can go for them with the slingers, hopefully we can avoid our general being caught. Do a bit of damage to them as well, we actually do a lot. I need to check this. 10 missile attack, okay. Those are a lot better than I thought, I knew there were some other good units from uh, from this part of the world. So yeah, we hit them in the back there, we're gonna get lots of kills. Down to 97, already wavering, let's go for it. Risk of friendly fire, but we do route them. Okay, next up, this unit should be even easier to escape from. Peltas have regrouped. There we go. Alright, six losses, not bad. Okay, so moment of truth. Is this who I think it is? Yeah, it actually is. So, we have actually been knocked back from Greece all the way to here, and what the hell is this? This does not look good. Okay, so our faction heir has died. Candidate for adoption. We have lost quite a few family members. So this guy is... Going to be adopted by Antigonus of Sparta, which is... Not our faction leader. Could be this guy. Yeah, this is him, so... Perfect chance for us to accept this guy, he looks pretty good. Let's go for him. Uh, as he actually appears in our capital. Okay, I'm not too surprised by that, but I was hoping uh, we could use him with this guy instead. Check the mercs, we have nothing new available to us. They have broken their siege of Apollonia. 
Alright, so I can actually take this opportunity just to thin these guys out. Or I can just go straight for the siege of the town. I don't want to let them back into the town, so I am going to go straight for Thessalonica. I have my doubts about this. Because we just have so many Peltasts and it's not really the right type of unit. So the realistic outcome here is they will have to charge us with several armies at once, but they're probably going to be split into quite a few different forces, potentially. So we might be able to hold them off. This guy's got five command stars, he's pretty good. Um, if they do all attack us with one big force, I might just withdraw. That would probably be fine. Okay, so a bunch of our soldiers got killed. Is that... Our navy? Have they destroyed our navy? Yeah, so our navy's just been damaged by that. Okay, it's not the end of the world. I'm... I can't remember if I ever actually saw that in the original game. I'm sure it was a mechanic. Okay, so we've adopted our new man. Let's send him up. And let's start sending the hoplites up too. Okay, so we do have a silver lining here, of course, which is we can now go and drop ourselves off right in front of Halicarnassus. And we can lay siege to that. That's defended by two units of hoplites, one unit of Rhodian slingers, and one unit of Cretan archers. We don't have the best units for that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to storm that or not, but that could have gone worse. Alright, so in this town, we're pretty likely to be attacked at some point, so I think going straight for a barracks does make sense. And war has been declared between Pontus and the Seleucid Empire. Okay, so hopefully that means Pontus is going to back off over here because I'm not completely ready to deal with them. Going to keep getting hoplites. Going to return these ships to here to retrain. And we probably need to pick up another one as well. Over in Syracuse, we have finished our new building, which means we can now retrain all of these units, get them a bit of extra experience, pick up some militia hoplites, and I'm not going to mess around. Because we're going to be completely on our own here, I think it does make sense to go for the city barracks and just start piling up the armored hoplites before we go for Masana. On the upside, the Scipii have not taken it. It's fallen to the Brutii, which means the Scipii probably haven't really expanded at all. I think next turn I might actually go besiege that, it might be slightly premature, but if nothing else we'll stop them recruiting, which has got to be worth it. In this town we're going to pick up some more hoplites, we're going to take one of these units of peasants and send them up to reinforce the public order, or in fact, I think sending two does make sense. So now Corinth isn't too happy but we can just pick up some more peasants there. Thamon is working on a stable, Apollonia is working on a barracks. Sparta's finished off its army barracks, which means we're now able to recruit armoured hoplites and experienced armoured hoplites at that, so those are going to be really solid and it also makes perfect sense to pick up the large temple of Nike, which is going to give us plus two experience for our units. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be really huge because even if this goes horribly wrong, and I do have my doubts about this, I'm not sure I'm not sure this is quite going to work, although we can pick up uh, an extra mercenary from here. If this goes horribly wrong, then we should just be able to make a backup push using um, some armoured hoplites from Sparta. We're going to take our new merchant, we're going to board the ship, and we're going to drop off right next to the olive oil. And let's return. Set the retraining up again. And we've still got a thousand left, so yeah, we're already starting to reach the point where our economy is incredibly strong, because pretty much all of our towns are busy. Let's actually go over to Byzantium, let's step this guy out, and let's pick up some more Thracians. So I might actually risk this, because we're not far. This guy might need us. But yeah, I really feel like as soon as I go for this, Therese is going to attack me. So I might not just yet. What I will do is I've got 200 left, we're actually apparently going to lose money now, I'm not sure how that works. We're going to throw up a watchtower, and that should give us a little bit more of an idea about what Therese is up to. 
So yeah, I'm not going to leave this army completely idle. I will use the Thracians at some point, but I think for now it does make sense just to stay in place. I'm going to send these Militia Hoplites just around the side here. And if that baits them in to attack me, that's completely fine. That's about as much as we can do, so let's just end the turn. And we can go trade with Dacia next turn. Alright, so they actually go back and besiege Apollonia again. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same guy. Interestingly, it looks like they've decided to go for an attack against us instead. So... We can probably take their capital here. The rebels at Halicarnassus have come to attack us. This is in our favour. Let's double check what they have. So yeah, this is um, this is potentially problematic, but actually I think I'd much rather fight them on the open field. Where I can rush them with my faction leader. He's got seven command stars. This should be fine. Alright, so we got ourselves a big hill to work with. Let's use it. Line up like this. We're just going to rush towards them. So let's have a look. Is this the force with the mercs? No, just basic peltasts. Okay, that's completely fine. We can probably catch those out. So because we have no range units, we have to be a little bit careful. Do have to rush them. So we can catch out a few of the peltasts here. I think we'll just go for it. There we go, they're actually starting to run away from us slightly. The Militia Hoplite's potentially getting ready to take us on. I think we'll just about make it into place before they reach us. A little bit careful here. Alright, you guys need to get back into Phalanx Formation. You guys line up like this. They're really making no effort to rescue their Peltas, which is completely fine. You guys back into Phalanx Stance, you guys like this. Okay, so all of these guys should be in Phalanx Stance, they should be completely fine with this. Yep, we've already routed them, perfect. Alright, so just their general now, we can probably just charge him. This might feel slightly stupid, but I'm just trying to get him to turn around so I can rush him with my cav. Just need my units to hit him in the back. Hopefully route him. Is he facing us? He's, he's making his... there we go. Strange strategy, but it works, so that's good. Alright, so let's see what's coming up next. So we can see Rodian Slingers, Cretian Archers. Can't see their... can't currently see their hoplites. Alright, shouldn't be necessary to charge him down. I think while we've got these guys really easy to catch out, it does make sense just to go for a strong charge. Okay, so we've got completely free reign to attack their Cretians. Uh, we already know from experience, just earlier on in this episode, that Rodian Slingers are also really good. But I'm going to go for the Cretians first, just because they've got slightly better range. Uh, we can see that actually the Rodian Slingers have already got off one volley against us. So we'll charge those as well. Our units are facing them, so we should be able to take a few volleys without too many losses. And worst case scenario here, our general gets killed by something really ridiculous, but... If you can't charge a unit of Slingers with a General, then there's not really much you can do with them. Our General, our Faction Leader, is something like 60 years old, so it's worth the risk. There we go, we've broken them. Christian Archers have reformed, but for now let's just focus on finishing off the Rodians. And that's them pretty much out, let's go for the Cretians. So outside of that they've got Two units of normal hoplites, those aren't going to be quite as easy to route. Try and form up like this. So I think they've got a little bit of a hill in their favour. If we can actually turn that around, that'd be great. There we go, so the Cretians and the Rodians are both beaten. Should be able to finish them off. These two units, pretty isolated. And they've seen everyone else flee, so hopefully we can break them pretty quick. It says they're eager, but they will break pretty soon once we actually engage them. Okay, so they're coming towards us, but I think we should be able to form up in time. Okay, 
Okay, just need to bait them into our spears. Here we go, so first unit engages. Let's bring these guys round, go for a full surround. They're still going to try and chase down our general, I think. Uh, these guys are potentially coming for us too. We're going to just about get them from the side. Alright, let's send our general round and we should be able to rout them. Need him to not go into the spears though. Not sure where he is. Let me just check this isn't him. No, it wasn't him, so that's fine. Alright, he's there on the side. I really want to try and route these guys before they do too much damage to us, but his unit is so wide that it's quite hard to actually outmaneuver them. There we go, so he's doing his rallying thing. He charges them in the back, they're wavering. Surprised they've held out this long. There we go, fighting to the death, let's pull out. Okay, still fighting to the death, but that's fine. Let's go and finish off the routers. The gods be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee! This is a heroic victory, worthy of great soldiers! Okay, so on the reinforcing force, they've got a very small number left, but unfortunately, I think that might just be enough for us to not take the town immediately. Still, we should be able to take it next turn with no problem. Okay, so we do take the town, that gets us the mausoleum or, or the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Uh, this is going to help us in the late game, it's going to speed up our construction, uh, but right now it's not too helpful to us. Alright, so we're going to occupy that. That means we've got a really good presence in Asia Minor. Over in Thessalonica, they've left it pretty abandoned. Um, this particular fight is definitely the kind of fight that goes better in auto resolve, so let's just go for that. So they managed to kill 800 of our men, um, so maybe I could have done slightly better than that. Let's hope. Let's hope that the Spartans are okay, I didn't get a glimpse. Let's check this out. So we lost a few Spartans, I think honestly that's completely fine. We're actually able to train Armored Hoplites straight off the bat here. Uh, we can also train up Greek Cav, which does help patch up some of our weaknesses. But no, I think going straight for Armored Hoplites does make sense, this is actually a really strong town. Uh, we'd lose a few Cretan archers too. I genuinely think that's worth the sacrifice because trying to take on General's bodyguards in city streets is actually not very predictable. Uh, it can go horribly wrong, um, so it's for the best that we don't risk it. I mean, I guess because of the Spartans it would have been okay, so maybe I could have done that slightly better, but never mind. We've taken the town, it's a really good town, so I'm not too worried about that. Then we've got this family member who's going to join up to these. We're going to send all of these up to Larissa, so Larissa's looking pretty safe. Uh, this guy cannot actually assault our town. So Thessalonica is pretty much completely safe. We can go attack by Lazora pretty soon. Uh, Larissa can strike out, take out these guys, and move towards Apollonia. And yeah, we've pretty much completely taken out Macedon. They've got a few little pockets of resistance left, but not too much. Syracuse, I think, doesn't quite have enough still to take these on, but... I feel like we can catch them out at some point, so I'm going to keep the Militia Hoplites coming. It's a very Hoplite-heavy force. It's kind of the opposite of our force over here. Um, yeah, I mean, I shouldn't have done that, really. I admit I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, we won't lose too much progress from that, so that's fine. Uh, let's check on these. So we found a Carthaginian agent. Someone has come of age, Doris of Sparta. Let's see what this guy is. So, two influence, minus one command, one management. So he's exactly the kind of guy that we leave in our capital, I think. Uh, we've got our first unit of armoured hoplites here. We can board our ships. Julia have finally gone to war with Gaul. How many turns are we in? 11 turns in, that's got to be a record. We managed to somehow distract them for a very long time. Uh, lots of construction done. We've got 9k to spend, so that's good. Let's go and spend some of that now. So Sparta is currently busy. Uh, Halicarnassus. Let's check this. So Halicarnassus is just a town, so it's actually not that good. It will be good at some point, but for now I think it just needs land clearance to speed up the growth. Pergamum is done, so let's try and diversify a bit. Let's go for a practice range. Uh, Nicomedia. Can't really recruit too much, but we're working on it. Byzantium is also free. Let's go for some mines. Thessalonica obviously needs to be repaired. And I think mines there does make sense as well. Shipwright is not too needed. I think the upgrade from Shipwright 
from port is uh, nowhere near as influential as the upgrade from nothing to a port. Communal farming. Quite a few decent options here. I think we do just go for the mines though so that we start making money as quickly as possible. In Narissa we're going to pick up some more hoplites and I think I'm pretty tempted to go for my first shrine to Hermes because I think the trade is starting to build up now. But let's play it safe for now, let's go for communal farming, that should pay for itself pretty quickly. And then we've got a thousand left to spend, if we pick up the stone wall that's going to leave us with not quite enough money to go for communal farming. So I think with Athens being a minor city it would be a good idea to start building this up, have it contribute a bit more, so I'm going to go for a practice range. And we're going to start trying to use Athens to produce a few archers. Potentially we also have... Let's check on this. So Sparta has its own unique Merc pool. Which currently just has Mercenary Peltas, not too useful. We should at some point be able to pick up some more Cretians. We step this guy out, let's have a look. On there. Okay, so let's try this guy instead. There we go, so we pretty much completely restocked this Merc pool. We've got Hoplites, Cretians, two units of Rhodian Slingers, those are really good too. So yeah, we've actually got a really strong force in Asia Minor. Asia Minor is looking completely fine, so that's kind of the silver lining. We did get driven away from helping in Sicily, but over here we've got everything we need to expand really quickly. But we've done enough for this part, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.